Hey guys, Hyzen went out here, and today we'll be we'll be reviewing Legacy Sandstorm, and uh, I'll say you know this just being a Scorpionock in in sandy colors, oh, with what I think is to be the mutant head uh, from the original Beast Wars figure. But paint job wise, it's not bad. I do like I do like the Scorpionock paint job a bit better, but besides that, it's perfectly fine. Uh, well, I mean, uh, this character really has no one to be based off of besides the comic version, but that's fr from a while ago. So yeah, uh, uh, this is basically just a comic character. Don't know why it doesn't say comic universe uh, or like IDW IDW you universe San Predacon Sandstorm, but besides that, uh, when it comes to uh, when it comes to articulation, there is a hinge here, uh, right at right at the tail, a ball joint here at the little. Uh, spiky tip point uh the uh, these legs all are on ball joints a, a same with the rest and i know of uh, like the legs are supposed to be technically folded up along the back but i feel like by, by doing what i'm doing it kind of cleans it up a little but uh, the head it like is on a ball joint so so it has some decent up, like a little down, a, g a good a le a left to right, and you know, like every ball joint is a swivel, uh, a pretty good uh, a rotation. I can go out this far, and you can cheat it for basically maximum up. Uh, there's a. Bicep swivel, mostly for transformation. A a just below ninety bend, focus. And you can break the arm here if you want, and do that. And there is a wrist swivel. You can uh, o uh, open the claws. Uh, uh, yes, th they do pop off. Which is annoying, but besides that, uh, they can uh, open. And there's pegs uh, for the two accessories. We'll get to those. There is a a, a somewhat limited but, but still present waist swivel. I, I, I can kick this far. Can kind of kick back that far. Near maximum knee. Uh, both uh, have pretty decent rocker. Uh, here's a, f a whole. F uh, you can break the ankle too. Here's a full, a full foot down, toe down, but no toe up uh, for any of them. Uh, when it comes to the accessories, I think it's a fall. when it comes to the accessories. Uh, he has that mecha wasp thing uh, from the original, uh, from the original square Binoc figure, uh, and you can stuff them into one of his claws uh, to kind of like shoot out, uh, despite the fact that, uh, uh, like that, the, uh, this ain't the nineties. There's there there's no more gimmicks with, with figures, and and there's the nestle pods, which for some reason this hollow here don't know why you can also just peg them in this camera here you can peg them in and boom when it comes to size comparisons here we have sandstorm with legacy buzzsaw and here we have them by times we return road burn now let's get to that scorpion mode
And here we got the scorpion mode. And I'll say, besides the bug legs and this, uh, and everything else is fine. Alright, like, besides uh, the bug legs and the ever present kibble ba basically holding this thing up, uh, everything here is fine. Uh, cause, like, from from the top view, it's it looks fine, but but right once you come to the side, it's gone. Uh, when it comes to electric to articulation, you can move this. You can move the uh, the spike. Like in the promotional art for for Scorpionock, it did show a, a stinging. Uh, action, but uh, but considering how how there's a leg in here, you can't do that. Uh, but when it comes uh, to these, uh, there's ball joints here in, in each one, a uh, swivel in each, but not mu much movement. And besides the back legs, they aren't long enough. And when it comes to these, uh, there's. No change, exact same articulation from robot mode. Uh, for for accessories, you can you can just leave them here, right in the claws, and boom, you're all good. Uh, when it comes to uh, size comparisons, here we got Le Le Legacy Buzzsaw, and here we got Titan's Return Roadburn. Okay, here, I'll put it down. Boom. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next review.